Good morning, afternoon or evening, depending on where you are in the world. For me, it's like 7 in the morning. Got my uh, cold brew here. Random ass stickers. I uh, figured I would do a uh, YouTube video. Also have some toast, so yeah. I don't think I won't eat while I'm on camera. Yeah, don't even think I won't, because I will. Dainty bites, like a fucking angel. Got my uh, Robocop shirt on. Clarence Boddicker. Yeah. Bitches leave. Love Robocop. Absolutely love Robocop. So anyway. Joe Rot here. A.K.A. Funeral Panzer. The Oregonian hunger part is gone. I have reverted back to my nickname of Funeral Panzer, which is probably, probably about a 14 year old nickname that I just decided to bring on to, uh, bring back, bring on back onto my uh, social media. It's uh, been a long time since I've uh, used it. But I decided to bring it back. Um, yeah. So let's go ahead and get started with this. Uh, we have some tapes. We have some CDs. We have some records. So let's go ahead and start with the... Let's go ahead and do the CDs first. Let's get these CDs out of the way. See how the reflection is on shit today. Oh, this isn't bad. This is still shrink wrapped, so it's not bad. Absolutely love this album. Uh, if you're not aware of what this is, just uh, look up the name of the album. Right there, Transylvanian Spells of the Catacombs. Get yourself a copy. Get yip 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 yip. Get yourself a copy if you can. Dusseldorf, Dusseldorf. I have. That's uh, actually my second copy of this. I love this album, but I wanted to have another copy of it. I'm, I don't think it's super easy to find. I'm not sure. I don't know. I'm not really sure. I just stumbled across this other copy, and I was like, "Yep, gotta have another copy of that." I'm kind of over the little candelabra thing, but uh, I don't know, something about this image, I don't really mind, so, plus, you know, little slip case, that's always cool, and some great artwork here on the cover, there we go, some cool artwork, it's always good to have, you know, such detail in your artwork. This is a split right here between Iron Goat and Raven Dark's Mononacal Cantinkle. I always have trouble saying that name, but it's a phenomenal, phenomenal band. Absolutely love it. Right there. Yep. Raven Darks Monarchal Canticle. I love that name. I'm also a huge fan. Not that you can see it very well on here, but I'm also a huge fan of their logo. I love their logo. But this is a split. Great cover art on that. I 
And then picked up this random CD. I didn't have this on CD. In fact, I don't think I have this one on any format. Yeah, so this is the only way I have this format here. Is this one here. Love that. Love that disc design. Big fan of hummingbirds, too. They remind me of my mom, so... Big fan of hummingbirds. I'm really popular when I wear this shirt out. Is what it is. People are like, oh my god, I'm so... I'm so offended by that shirt. Oh my god. It's from a fucking movie. Come on. Grow up. Grow up or get the fuck out. Fucking baby. Okay. There we go. Satanic Holocaust wins. Misanthropic Knights. I'm also very tired of, like, I don't know, this style of artwork. I don't know, I love this artwork. I'm just tired of seeing it sometimes. But this is a great, this is a great album. It's a great CD. So. And the last of the CDs. All right, let's move on to some tapes here. Got a got a glittery little bitch right here. Look at this glittery little shithead. Almost the same color scheme going on with this one here. Right there. Nice super, super ghetto-y tape. Just adds to the greatness. And then of course, the, all the handwritten stuff inside just adds to the overall aesthetics of it. I love it. Fucking love it. It's like back in the day when I used to dub like uh, black metal concerts and death metal concerts and stuff and make like the artwork when I used to ship them out, uh, make the artwork for like the VHS box and to put on the tape and all that. Like handwrite everything, photocopy it. Okay, almost done with this stack of tapes. Again, if you can't make out the name, I don't know, that's your problem. Hold it there just enough so you can get it. There you go. Junkie and Proud release. Another nice, just plain tape. Loaded with deliciousness. I have two copies of this. Right here. Um, you can currently get this. I'm pretty sure you can still get this at Junkie and Proud. And I'm pretty sure you can also get it at Winter Solace. But uh, grab this tape. This is phenomenal. Completely fucking raw. Fantastic. Black metal right there. Now we got this little bastard. Which I missed the first go around, but 
Luckily, you know, I have people out there looking for me and shit. Looking out for me, which is always good, so. Somebody let me know that they had a copy of this and they they were willing to send it to me. No charge. They found it, so they were like, here you go, buddy. I was like, thank you, sir. They're like, you're welcome. Handshake. Okay, here we go. Beautiful red tape. Looks kind of orange in this lighting. Maybe it is orange. Is that orange? Red. I don't fucking know. It's Halloween-y looking. Lampshade tapes. Purple tape. Black. Slip case cassette. Always enjoyable. Love slip cases. A little bit of death metal thrown into this mix. From Iron Fortress. And then the last of the tapes. Silent Hill. Soundtrack. High Seas Boots on Instagram. Phenomenal stuff. Phenomenal. Alright, so now, on to the records. Start off with the 7-inch. Goat Moon in Command. Goat Moon, in my opinion, can do no wrong. If you say Goat Moon can do anything wrong, I don't know. Love Goat Moon. Absolutely. But yeah. Nice little 7 inch split right here. Alright. Blurring. 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 One of those words that, uh, I don't know. Never sounds right when I say it. Phenomenal album here. It comes with a fantastic, uh, gigantic poster. Some beautiful artwork on the back with that purple. This right here, there was a black and white swirl of this vinyl too that I missed that was badass looking. This is just the black vinyl, but hey, at least I got a copy. I also have a copy of this on tape from uh, Nifstang. Highly recommend this. Fantastic stuff. You will not be disappointed in this. At all. You will not be disappointed. And if you are disappointed in it. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Alright. Next up. From Winter Solace. I believe this is a... Did I show this in the last video? I don't think I did. I don't remember. Nice brown gold vinyl. If you don't have this, I highly recommend you seek it out. I don't know if there's any more copies on Winter Solace. Not really sure. I think I may have showed this in the last video, but I don't know. I just sh sit shit around randomly and whatever. I stumble across it and I'm like, oh, I don't think I put this one in the video. I'll put it in the video and then I'll be like, oh, maybe I put this one in the last video. So, cold brew today. Uh, the cold brew... Some uh, oat milk, 
and some hazelnut syrup. This is by, uh, put out by Death Hymns, Gates of Dawn 2. Fucking phenomenal. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Love this band. All right. Um, the next ones are all, I believe, all from one label. Right there. Um, again, I never, I never buy these directly from the label because the shipping is so insane on there. Um, I really wish he had a different shipping option because I would love to just order stuff directly from him, directly from the label. I love this artwork right here. Yeah. And again, I mean, y'all should know who, who, who's behind this band. You don't, Patrick Finian, Fernock, Moose Gut, yeah, just more fucking phenomenal, gloomy ass metal, right here, phenomenal release. All right, next up we have, I have the tape of this. I may have multiple copies of this tape actually sitting around somewhere. Um, I have Eagle right there. Autumn Hearts in the Iron Winter. Absolutely devastating, crushing black metal. I don't know. I don't know if it's that extreme, but uh, it's very good. Very, very good. And then we have another one here, Fortitude, also by Eagle. Holding the kitty, holding the kitty. But uh, so glad to have these again. Got these uh, from Nithstang. Uh, always releasing, always getting into the good shit. And then uh, last up, I don't know, probably a pretty controversial cover I don't know I don't really see controversy in anything because I don't know maybe it's done for shock value again but phenomenal uh, I love that layout love that gold on the black love the inside of this one here phenomenal and then Right here. Great stuff. Great, great stuff. And again, if this stuff isn't something that you listen to, if uh, it's out of your ballpark, if it's not even in your city, I don't know. Like I've said before, to me, music is music. My ears like it. I'm going to listen to it. My eyes like it. I want to watch it. But your heart has to be in it. 100%. So, uh, I believe that's everything for this video. I will, uh, nope. Actually, I'm a fucking liar. So, I have, I have one more album. I just looked over and saw it. I don't know how I could forget this one. Because it's, it's from the same... Label I just mentioned. There we go. Have their demos on tape. Uh, another. Just another badass release. That's great. Look at that shit. And it also comes with a. Big ass poster. Big ass poster. Love this artwork on the back. Love that. It's great. 
again, I mean, and you know, yeah, lay, dude on that label gets a lot of hate, but it's like, you know, so do, so do people on other labels, but it is what it is when somebody releases good shit. I mean, I really don't care what your label is. I mean, if it's good, I gotta have it. It's as simple as that. All right, so that's the end of this video. 20 minutes long. I'm gonna finish my toast, finish my cold brew, have a meeting at work today. And uh, otherwise it's my day off. So we'll see what else happens, but uh, everybody take care. Um, thanks for following me on Instagram. Uh, on Instagram, Joe Rot, Funeral Panzer. Uh, Funeral Panzer here on YouTube. Hopefully the name changed on the channel. I'm not too tech savvy, so I don't know. But uh, listen to music. What else do you have to do with your life? Cheers.